Hey guys, it's May May, and today I am bringing you a punch hack. I don't really know what else to call it. It's a technique using your punch, and I want to show you where it came from. So I was working on making a book binding card for a live show a couple weeks ago, and I was going to design the book binding to have this little uh, punch in it, and I was going to thread some twine through it. And when I did it, it made me go, uh, look. So I, flip, I flipped it over, and I tore this out like it was perforated, and I went, guys, I think we can make a ticket book with this. Look, I even left myself a note, sat this on the shelf so I wouldn't forget. Let me show you what this is and how cool I think it is. All right, I've pre-cut all my pieces. So I'm gonna make it this size, but this technique can work with any size. I've cut out these pieces to be two and three quarters wide by eight and a half long. And the reason for that is you'll be able to get four of these strips from one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And then this one piece needs to be eight and three quarters by two and three quarters wide. Now, again, I'm going to show you the technique today. We're going to build that little book, but you will be able to do it in any size. And there's so many things you can do. All you need is this punch or a punch like it. So I'm gonna score these and while I score them, I wanna tell you a couple things. What do I mean by a punch like it? Okay, as long as the punch does not cut away the edge, if it cuts into the edge, like this one cuts the little um, tick marks up off of the edge, you'll be able to do this. So whatever punch, go start digging through your punches. That's the cool thing. Let me get these scored. I'm just scoring them in half at four and a quarter and then we'll start punching. Now this piece that's the eight and three quarter piece, don't score it. I'm gonna show you how we'll use that in a second. All right, so to the punch, Batman, here we go. What you wanna do, all right, is crease these down super tight. Here's why. The tighter this crease is, the better it fits in your punch and the better it binds together in a few minutes, okay? So here is the trick. Take your punch. Now, it's very important. Your punches have these little lines, like these little registration marks. You wanna make sure you start every single punch at the same registration mark. So I'm gonna take this piece and put it in to that first little mark. It does not matter where the punch is gonna go, because I'm gonna line it up in a minute, but every page has to start at the same spot. If you're using a pattern paper, you need to pay attention to that, okay? All right, then I'm gonna turn this over, and I'm gonna, you don't have to turn it over, but that's, I line up to the left-hand side. It's just a habit I have. So I'm just gonna line this up here and punch, and you see how it finishes off? And then I'm gonna line this up here and punch. And look, this is what you get, okay? So we're making this perforated area that you hold and they can tear these off. So I'm gonna do that to all of these guys. By the way, Shana pointed this out. Look at the confetti, isn't that cute? You could totally use that in like a shaker card or something. It looks just like confetti. All right, let's crease super tight. Put it in the same spot we started with. Remember, that's all that matters is that you start at the same spot on your punch and then finish this out. And I'm gonna do this to every piece and then I'm gonna show you how we'll put it together. Okay, so I got all of the pieces punched. Now this is why you wanted to make sure you started at the same spot on every one. If you don't, then your holes won't line up, okay? Now something else I noticed on the size I'm using, the little punch comes off the page on one end and not on the other. I want that to be the top. And the reason for that is when a person goes to tear their ticket out or their coupon, whatever you use this book for, it'll kind of get it started because it'll have that open spot and that's what we want. So I'm gonna take all these guys and line them up. Now, this is, this is where we're gonna bind it. We're gonna bind it on this side, all right? So there's a couple things we gotta do here. What you wanna do is you wanna open this up. You wanna run some glue inside that binder. You gotta trust me on this. This is what's gonna help this all stay together and be nice and sturdy. So you're gonna run a little glue right there. Can't y'all see these for like Valentine's Day coupons or maybe even a coupon for back to school? Think about this. What if you did this for the teacher and you gave her like two hours of volunteer in your classroom time or um, organizing your closet, whatever. Like if you if you have a teacher that you wanna do things for, I'm trying to think, what are things your teacher, your sister would like, Shannon? Like the organize, and I bet they'd love somebody to come and like organize a cabinet yeah. or volunteer for a class party. Volunteer for a class party. Like here's, you need food for the party or whatever. Wouldn't that be cute to make a little back to school coupon book for, I think it'd be cute. For any reason, also I wanna make sure you understand, you don't have to do this size. This punch goes on and off the page, right? You can make this as big as you want. So the size is up to you. I think that's cool. All right, so we're gonna glue all of these little binded pieces together. 
If you wanted to make several of these at one time, because you can do this from an eight and a half by 11, just score your page in half and glue it down before you do the slicing of the size, and then you only have to glue that one time. That makes sense to you guys that are my mass producers, I promise you. All right, so once you've got your little bindings sealed up, now we can start attaching. All right, so to attach, glue on the outer side of your little perforated edge. Make sure you line them up the same, remember, you wanna, and you can just stack them up like this and let them just kind of go together, and you'll see that my holes all line up, and that is because we made sure we put them in the punch at the same spot. Okay, so I'm gonna add glue here. I'm gonna keep putting everything together, and then I will get back with you and tell you all about how I think we should cover these guys. All right, so you see here, I got all my pages glued together. Now I wanna show you how we did the what we call the cover. You don't have to have a cover, but I think it's kinda cute. So going back to like old vintage matchbook days, you remember how they just kinda wrapped over? So this piece, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add glue to my back strip Whichever one is your back, if you want the yellow of the first page, the purple, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, because you want to keep that, um, remember that half perforated, you want that at the top. So then you're just going to line this up on the end of your piece of cardstock, like so, and wherever that sticks down is where it sticks. And then we're not going to glue this one. I know, even I wanted to like glue it to it, but it doesn't work, and I'll show you why. I might even show you on my, the one I tested it on, why it didn't work. Let me let that stick for just a second. All right, so then I'm gonna wrap this around like this, and I'll show you where I tried gluing it. When you glue it, when the recipient gets it, they're just gonna pop it loose because it's so snug when it's glued down. But with it being open like this, it's kind of like those old coupon books you used to get at school or whatever, you know? And I know it's killing y'all. Y'all wanna see it torn, watch. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Like, I would want to see that too, right? Because that's satisfy That's very satisfying. So, if we'll go to another page like this and say, this is the coupon we want. Look how cute, y'all. I think this is adorable. What a cute way to make a little something for someone if you just want to give them like some service coupons. I think that's super cute. And all you need is this little guy. And again, any size you want. You could make it you know, a book that tears, whatever you want. I think it is super cute. I hope you enjoy that little punch hack. I don't really know what else to call it. It's just kind of a technique with a punch, and I think it is really cool. So, thanks so much for watching, but here's your challenge. You know your challenge. Number one, it is hit that red button and subscribe, guys, and make sure you hit the little bell so you can tell it you want to get notifications when I load my videos. Secondly, I want to see what you do with this idea. Please post it on our customer gallery and in our Discord. Go chat over there in Discord in our crafty room and let everybody know what you're making. All right, have a great one, guys. Until next time, bye now.